Roast night doesn't always have to be about roast pork or roast beef. Roast duck is a fantastic alternative and it's really easy to cook. First of all, you need to preheat your oven to 200 degrees and you want to cook the duck for 45 minutes per kilo. Now we need to pat this duck dry because we want crispy skin as the outcome. So all over and dry inside the cavity. These little wing tips can burn in the oven so you can either chop them off like I'm doing or the other option is you can just tuck it underneath the breast just like that. So I'll just take the other one off, just cutting straight through the cartilage there so it's really easy to remove. Now for the tray, I always use a rack in a tray, meaning all of that fat will render away and it'll stay down in the bottom of the pan and the duck won't be sitting in all of that fat. Now I don't put any oil on my duck at all. All it needs is a good amount of salt there and a good crack of pepper. And that's it, into the oven for the 90 minutes. Now, while that's cooking, we've got just enough time to make a really special sauce. This is a red wine and pomegranate sauce. Pomegranates are fantastic when they're in season. They've got a really lovely sweetness to them, but they're also tangy. And I'm not only going to be using the pomegranate jewels inside, but I'm also going to be using pomegranate molasses. Pomegranate molasses is really sticky and syrupy, and it's a fantastic addition to any gravy or jus, which is what we're going to be making now. now first First of all, let's get this pan on the heat. So we want to warm that up with just a little bit of olive oil. And we need a basis to this sauce. So mushrooms give a really lovely earthiness to the sauce. So we want about a handful. You can see I'm just really roughly chopping these because this sauce is going to be strained at the end, so nothing has to be completely perfect. And some French shallots. You can just use the standard brown onion, but I think eschalots or French shallots have a lovely sweetness to them. Again, just slicing them. And that's it for our bases. So all of that goes in there and we just allow that to sweat so we get a slight colour on it. It'll turn golden brown. Then I'll add a little bit of salt. Now we've got some really good colour on these mushrooms and shallots so we need to deglaze the pan. So about 400 millilitres of red wine. Love that sound and it smells so good. When red wine hits that pan, it transforms. Now for the molasses. Now we want about a good tablespoon of this molasses. This is going to give it also a beautiful, rich, deep mahogany colour here. We need 500 millilitres of really good beef, veal or even duck stock is fine, even chicken. Just make sure it's a good quality stock and also some thyme. So we've got about four sprigs there. We're going to bring that to the boil and then turn it down and just let it cook really, really gently for about 45 minutes or until it's reduced by about half. Then I'm going to strain it and finish it off with a little bit of butter. Now the duck is cooked, it smells so good in here and we've got crispy skin, allow it to rest. We usually say half of the cooking time, so allow it to rest for about 30 to 40 minutes. It will hold and retain its heat, so don't worry about that. So I'll take the duck off the rack and just place it onto a decorative board. And now to finish off the sauce. So pomegranates, you know this is a good pomegranate because it's really heavy, which means it's got loads of juice inside and there's lots of seeds, or I like to call them jewels. Look at this. It's so vibrant, it's so sweet. And I'm going to be using not only some of the juice, but all those little gems inside to decorate and to finish off our sauce to give it a burst of sweetness. Now you can see, after all of that time, this has reduced a lot. It's glossy, it's almost sticky. We're gonna turn the heat off, and now we need to strain it. You know, some of these sauces, we think that they take a lot of time and a lot of effort, but really, it's quite easy to do. You just need to be patient with allowing it to reduce. And and we just need a knob of butter here, but it needs to be really cold and we don't want to add it all in at once. So I'll cut this in half. Now you can see it's just about to boil, so a little bit of butter. And by whisking this, you'll see this sauce, it's shiny as it is, but still a little bit liquidy. So a little bit more butter now. 
Now that is pretty much done. All we need to do is get the little seeds out of here. Now the best way, turn it over and give it a good whack. So smack out all of those seeds. Be really careful because it does stain. But look how many we get out. We just want to take out all of the little white parts there and just keep those seeds. I'm going to keep this just onto my board there for decoration. And the rest of this, along with the juice, I'm just going to lift and place straight into our sauce. And then give that a swirl. Heat goes off and that's it. That is a delicious pomegranate and red wine sauce. Just going to pour it straight into this dish here. Voila. Whole duck for a Sunday night, if you like. That tangy, sweet, molassesy sauce goes really well with the earthiness and rich duck meat.